Tonight, UConn takes on San Diego State in the Men's NCAA National Championship. In a tournament that had no number one seeds making it past the Sweet 16, these two teams made it out and will compete in the Battle of the Mid-Majors. I am joined by Caleb Kalsich and Jackson Tennant to discuss the matchup and give their score predictions. Jackson, what are your thoughts for the game tonight? Well, first of all, Caleb, I think it's really cool that we're seeing more parity in college basketball. I think the fact that you got teams like UConn and more specifically San Diego State making it in the championship game, it's cool to see. And I wonder if that's going to be a trend in the future. Like, Caleb, do you think that in the next couple of years we're going to see more mid-major non-blue blood teams like represent in the championship game? I do. I think the... The difference between seedings is slowly closing. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the past five years, we've seen two 16 seeds beat the number one. The last three years, 15 seeds made it to the Sweet 16. Right. So I think the whole, you know, getting an upper seed is more now of getting a home court advantage than getting an easier team in the tournament just because the skill gap is slowly closing mm -hmm. between the whole 64 team field. For sure, for sure. But yeah, in terms of the game, um, I think UConn's going to win. UConn's just the more complete team. Uh, they've been dominant the entire tournament. Their average points differential in the big dance has been 20.2 points. They're among the best offensive and defensive teams in the entire country. And there are two main players on UConn that I believe will, will take charge in the game. First being Adama Sanogo, um, averaging 20 points, 9.8 rebounds for the tournament. He'll be too much to handle against, against San Diego State. Jordan Hawkins, averaging 16 points. He's a shooter from the, from the three. He can fill it up. He has shown when he went six for 10 from three in the Elite Eight game against Gonzaga. Had a great showing against Miami as well. Because of the firepower UConn has and the momentum they have right now, it would be a huge upset if San Diego State were to win. And we've seen plenty of upsets. It's even an upset that San Diego State made it this far. UConn's just the better team. They can beat you in so many different ways. You say that it's gonna be an upset. It, it, this is a hard, hard game for them. They'd be Bama. They beat the number one overall seed. So it's not like they haven't done this before. And I think that the fact that so many people are already just saying UConn's got the easy path to win tonight is probably going to fuel them, and they're going to come out and play the, probably the best game they've played all season. Uh, as we saw against FAU, uh, Lemon Butler sent them to the natty on a last-second buzzer beater. I mean, it was the it was a crazy finish, but. Matt Bradley also carried that team for a long period of time, scored I think 12 of the 14 points when they went on a 14-0 run. So they have the ability to score, but they also have – their defense is okay. So they're going to have to control UConn from the, behind the arc for sure. Definitely. And, and, and UConn, if we're talking about the defensive side of the ball, one of the reasons why UConn is so good is because they really are great defensively. They held Gonzaga to under 33% shooting from the field, held Miami to 34% shooting from the field. And because of that, it just makes them so dangerous on both sides of the ball. And when you add that with they can beat you in the half court and they can beat you in the full court, they can make defense turn into offense, UConn's just – they're just the better team. They are, but as we've seen this whole tournament, the better team always doesn't win. Right, right. So, right. and it's, it's one game. You, and UConn can have the worst game of their tournament tonight, and SDSU wins. But I think SDSU just has to play their game. They can't get to a point where they're trying to force things because, as we've seen before with teams that uh, get this far, if they try to force things, it's over immediately. So I, th I think it's going to be a good game. It's a 4v5 in the national championship, which I don't think any of us expected Not at all. to have uh, Not when at this all. tournament started. So I think it will be a good game. It will be. And I think the only thing about San Diego State that I worry about is Nathan Mensa, who will probably match up with Sonogo. Um, he's a really good defender for San Diego State, really good big man. But if he gets into foul trouble, they're toast because they have like Jaden Lee, I believe that's his name. He's, the, he's a rotation big for San Diego State. I just don't see him giving him giving UConn any problems offensively or defensively. Obviously, you have to worry about Sonogo being in foul trouble as well if you're UConn, but he's only averaged two fouls this entire season. Um, Mensa's averaged four fouls per 40 minutes of play. So for for me, UConn just they, I don't see. A, obviously, if they don't play well, San Diego State has a chance. I mean, that's a, obviously that's an obvious statement, but. UConn has just dominated this entire field. I just don't see a roadblock hitting them right now. No, they have, and they've used their height and advantage throughout this whole tournament, the teams they've played. But I'll go back to the Bama thing. SDSU beat Bama, who was also very tall and very athletic. They had to face Brandon Miller, mm -hmm. who Brandon Miller didn't you know, play great that game, but that's what they have to do. Maybe they have to key in on a key player for UConn. They, they have to figure out a way to force UConn to do things they're not you know, used to. Maybe SDSU plays a different type of tempo. We'll see. I, I don't know. SDS, they got here. So that's the whole they thing. Did. They so did. anything can happen, really, in the national championship game. Right. It's right. not like, you know, college football where 
the better team is usually going to win. This is basketball. Anything can happen on a given night. I agree, but I also think for the championship game, it's for me, it's usually the, the better team wins. In the in March Madness, when you have the round of 32, round of 64, it's, it's anybody can win because you have multiple games to look forward to. But this is the, the final game of this entire tournament. It's two teams. One team's going away the championship, and we don't have basketball for the next six or whatever months it is. UConn, the better team, better, been better all year. Obviously, they had that roadblock in January. They lost six of eight. But since then, they've been playing the best basketball out of anybody, again, on both sides of the ball. San Diego State, just they cannot produce offensively the way UConn can. And when you combine UConn's defensive intensity, San Diego State, there, there's no outlet for them to, to gain momentum. There's no, there's no advantage that they have. UConn just outmatches them in every aspect of the game. Yeah, I, I don't know. This, it's, just, it's where, you know, you, ha you have a blue blood in the right. championship, obviously. Right. So they're definitely experienced, have multiple experience being in this position. SDSU does not. I think that, is, that could hurt them tonight. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, SDSU got here. And I know it's weird to say they have nothing to lose, but they really don't. They're here. No one even expected them to get this far. So a, being second in the NCAA tournament is not, you know, not their goal, I no. think I hear, but it's not the worst result they could have produced since getting in the tournament. So I think that's – it's always hard to play a team when they don't have anything to lose. I think that's what SCSC is going to go in with mindset tonight. Uh, well, I personally have UConn, and that's all we got. Um, and we'll send it back to Max.